Hello everyone. No video post in a while. I was busy. So what we are trying to do today, we're starting work on putting all of those batteries into into this craftsman enclosure which is 28 by 28 inches, 12 inches wide. Um I got some more batteries, 16 more, so total battery pack will be 18 kilowatts or so, maybe a little bit less. Another piece has arrived, wire, connectors, fan. I had to make these bus bars myself because they were not selling anything that I really wanted to use together with the DC to DC converter at 700 watts temperature monitor monitor with temperature control which will be controlling the fan that will be installed we have a big battery switch for the whole pack and a bunch of other ports that are coming tomorrow like this i'm going to install including this usb charger socket and this switch which will control the DC to DC converter uh, work is starting today I don't know when is it going to be completed uh, I am still waiting for HOA approval to install these panels it's becoming to be difficult. I might have to hire services of an attorney to get it done because according to the state of Georgia, they encourage use of solar energy in our state. I will keep you guys posted throughout this build and we'll see how it works out. The battery enclosure will be here on the bottom. Right above where, right below where these batteries are right now. A little update on the system. It's working. These things don't have any problem powering up anything. Only update is since October 24th, according to the updated manual, we are supposed to use these current sharing cables. I made a video about it uh, previously, and uh, first time that was not advised in the manual it actually does say do not use current sharing cables but right now it does say to use them i installed them it works even better when it's battery powered i'll talk to you all soon